Hi all, welcome to the Business Site web series. In today's web series, we're going to talk about Oracle Order Management Command Center. These command centers are kind of a uh, Oracle analytical tool which give us uh, analyticals over data in the e-business suite. So today we talk about Oracle Order Management Command Center. Uh, this tool, this command center is uh, free with the uh, Oracle EPS 12.2.4 onwards and there's no backward incompatibility. The order management commands, command center consists of order dashboard that provide higher visibility of key focus area, enabling CSR to take timely actions and to accurately fulfill orders. They, use this, they can use this dashboard to search and filter orders and order information and to review and, and uh, analyze data using various charts, graphs, and tables. They also look into the uh, delay in the order fulfillment and what is the impact they have. So this is our order management uh, command center. As you can see on the left hand side, we have a various kinds of filters. These filters are based on the order or the customer. Then in the top, we have a KPIs to show us the draft, alerts, and late and open orders. Then in the middle, we have a charts. We have a tabs for to show orders or if we have any kind of alerts or customers. And in the bottom, we have exactly raw data is there. So let's go over all, all this thing together. Now, as I said, we have a, uh, on the left hand, we have a refinements. This is a kind of a filter. So like if I click on one of the filter, so uh, as you can see, I can uh, pick the orders. As soon as I pick the orders, the complete dashboard will refresh and it will show me only the data related to the order which I have selected. Once all, so as you can see, this is our filter. I can remove uh, order from the filter one by one or I can move all together. So now let's talk about uh, these are the filters. So these are in under the available filter refinement. You can see all the filters and under selected, you can see the filters which are already applied. Let's say, for example, I pick a customer and I say I pick AC networks. Now you can see under the selected refinement, you can see a filter of AC customers. And these are the rest of the filters which are still available to you. Now let's uh, talk about what we have under this order section. What are these charts and what is this table is there. So let me remove the filter. Under the order section, we have a KPIs to show the draft, which is nothing but the number of orders in the enter status. Late, these are the number of booked orders that have missed the scheduled ship date. Open are the number of booked orders that are in progress and with the alerts is basically show me the count of order which are which have some kind of exception maybe a hold or some other kind of a user defined exception. Now let's talk about the middle section. We have a three tabs order alert and customers. Under the order tab we can see the orders by the order date as well as order by the request date. Under the alert section, uh, we can see uh, orders by alert type. So what kind of alert type we have? We have two type of alert types, hold and expected delay. So 88% uh, of the our alerts are based on expected delay. And then there we are 11% uh, of the alerts, which are two uh, the number is number of orders are two, which is 11% of our uh, total. On the left hand side, we can see <coughs> the attack cloud for the alerts. So it show me all the alerts in the form of a attack cloud and the thickness and the size of the attack cloud show me uh, the, the what is the number, how much orders are under that particular thing. So as you can see the expected delay 
is a bold and a huge that means we have a lot of orders which are under th this alert and then the hold and price pricing error holders number that's the volume of the order is less so let's click on the expected delay as soon as i click on the expected day the expected delay you can see there is already a filter is applied based on the alert name equal to expected delay and the complete dashboard is refreshed to show me only the orders which are under expected delay so let me remove this then what exactly in the customer in the customer bar i can see the order by the customer chart this chart display information about all the orders both with and without alert for each customers so as you can see i have a business word they have a 200 orders which are on uh, which are not on alerts and there are around two orders which are on alert we can scroll we can move our uh, mouse to zoom in now what is there in the bottom section in the we call this as a result table so we have a two kind of uh, tabs are there order and order lines the order tab will show me the result about the order and all the hyperlink as you can see order number customer and customer number they are act like a filter suppose i click on 105 which is my customer number and as you can see the complete dashboard is now refresh to show me the data for only the customer number 105 and there is a filter is already applied let's remove the filter i will talk about update in few minutes let's go to the order lines when we go to order lines it will show me the data for all the order lines so order number order lines customer product quantity line amount order total and then since the data on the lines is huge we have it divided into two sections main and shipping so now if you go to the shipping <clears throat> the first few columns are same but rest of the columns are different so in the main tab in the main section we can see the data which is related to the order line amount pricing but in the shipping section we can see the data which is more relevant to the shipping now let's come back to the order tab and so what is this update this tool is not just a simple etl tool or data visualization tool like etl tools are basically extract transform and load your data and the data visualization tool help you to visualize the data but this particular tool is much beyond that if you click on the update link you can see the complete picture of the order See, if we have a. Uh, if you go to the action, you you can do perform lot of things. You can copy the order. And like as just like in EBS, we copy the order. The order is copied, and continue. Similarly, we can uh, book the order. We can cancel the order. Copy order, delete a line, or delete a order. We can review and print a order. We can progress a order, and we can do the shipping detail or invoicing detail. So this tool is much beyond that, and this tool is also allow, uh, offering us the extensions. Like if you want to add new columns, new data elements, new tables, you can do that through the extensions. And this tool is completely written in PL SQL. API so you need not to depend on any licensing for uh, the third party tool in case you would like to implement command center feel free to reach us as inquiry at businessite.com hope you like it thank you bye